good morning YouTube. This is Jimmy with Two Top Crane. We are uh, still on this tower job. We got uh, we got winded out yesterday. It was gusting to about 27. That's a little too much to be trying to handle these tower pieces with this crane. Actually, with the boom configuration I had yesterday, my max wind speed is right around 22 miles an hour um, it was below 22 miles an hour until we got that piece up there and then it started gusting to around 25 to 27 miles an hour so we called it off today it's supposed to be around six to six to nine miles an hour so that's going to be pretty calm a lot easier for these guys to uh, get their bolts started, get get the piece hooked up to the one below it. it to me, any of this work, I don't even care if it's an emergency, emergency shutdown or whatever it is. There is never a point in time where the work you're performing is more important than the safety of the people performing the work. Um, these guys, they're tower guys, they're familiar with that kind of stuff. Uh, they were more than understanding. Actually, the guys on the tower, I don't think they want to be up there anyway, but I can't say that I blame them. I, it can be dead calm and I'm not climbing this tower. I didn't lose nothing up there, I got no reason to be up there. Alright, YouTube, we got our tower section stood up. We're gonna gonna get his ropes untangled here and we'll get it set on top of the existing pieces I've got radio communication with the guys up top so you'll uh, get to hear some of that
table up, I can give it to you. We didn't try that yesterday in that wind. Yeah, 10 4. Uh, give us just a minute, let it go. Two bolts in, and I'll have your cable down easy. 10 4. seeing hopefully
up a couple of feet, but I don't think that's going to get us. If you keep an eye on my two block weight, I can cable up a little bit. I can lift my two block weight a little bit if I need to. It's just whether or not that piece is going to clear my jib. 10-4. cable up so I'm just keeping an eye on it so I can't get that thing hung up in my jib. Yes sir. cable's only about 18 inches long. Oh yeah, then I don't think we're going to make it because I'd still, yeah, I'd still need it every bit of five foot higher. 10-4. Yeah, and, and if you boom up more, I don't think that section's going to turn once you get it over here to line up. Okay, so we had to change the plans. Uh, we didn't quite have enough tip height, which sucks. So we had to uh, side pick this tip, which, I mean, it's not an uncommon practice. It just makes it a little more difficult. But as you can see, if we're picking off of one leg. Um, it makes it hang a little bit crooked, but what that does, it gives us about an extra eight or 10 feet of uh, height we were lacking about five feet. Um, it just makes it a little trickier to set it down. So what's gonna happen when I get it up there is the two legs that are hanging closest to the ground, uh, I gotta touch those down first and they'll stuff some bolts through it. And then as I'm, I'll have to swing a little bit and use my hydraulic luffer, which is the jib on the end. And I'll actually left that down a little bit as I'm swinging to touch that other leg down.
for swing and right. Keep on coming. Uh, if you could left down, I think that'll get us there. 